Hello, welcome to this Cold Waters gameplay video. If you ever imagined commanding a nuclear attack submarine, then don't miss a minute of what's coming up. Hey, welcome back. Well, um, we were here last. We had shot the last of our weapons, accomplished our mission. That we have, uh, I think, a couple of harpoons left, maybe some T lambs and TASMs. It's time to head back to base. So let's go ahead and get the campaign loaded. And while I'm doing that, please consider subscribing so you'll never miss another Cold Waters video. All right, let's quickly look at our brief. Yeah, uh, there's like yeah, <laughs> we can we can have uh, we can have harpoons and we can have decoys and we have tomahawks in the vertical launch system. That's it. And our orders are return immediately to Holy Lock. Okay, so let's let's get after that, and hopefully we won't be pestered on the way. And maybe we'll get a cool mission. Maybe it'll be the terminal mission. Go shoot tomahawks at uh, Murmansk. That would be. That's a pain. I've done that. That's. That's creepy. All right, let's get in here. Ah, 45 days at war, 15 missions accomplished, sunk one capital ship, 24 other warships, 34 submarines, four merchants. Is are, is there anything left of the Soviet Navy? A total tonnage, tonnage. I can't even talk. Of 379,000. That's crazy. <laughs> It's crazy. Okay, so we're off to the Admiral's office for a debrief. And look at all the cool medals we got. This is insane. It's insane. But it's, you know, there's no Soviet Navy left. Here we go. Ah, it is the T-Lamb. It is the T-Lamb. So, recent recon overflights indicate Soviets take a rather lax view of safety rules when storing munitions, creating the perfect target for cruise missiles armed with submunitions, such negligence will cost them, and it is you who will see to it that they pay dearly, <laughs> or something like that. You are hereby ordered to sail within 100 miles of Gromka in order to launch at least eight TLAM missiles at this target. So we need to make sure. I think we got ten. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, rearm and repair. Uh, yeah, we got 10 T lambs. Um, we'll just stay with that. We can. Well, we need to get that back up to a reasonable number, and we need to load out a pile of Mark 48s. And uh, let's see. Let's get the harpoons. I want to reload. There we go. Let's get. Okay, so now we have 26 Mark 48s, five mosses, four harpoons, and uh, I can't bring any sea lances. I just keep telling myself not to do that. I mean, I had to use them last time, but uh, against modern Soviet subs they poke holes in them and you got to go finish them off it's kind of cool you can shoot it from a ways off and they appear to have a relatively quiet launch signature if you just watch the launch animation but you know I don't know I don't know how the game actually models that uh, 26 mark I don't do our the only question is do I want more than four harpoons um, really the only reason to have anything like that is uh, is for the transit between here and there because once we get there it's going to be all about being real quiet and uh, turn this volume down a little bit it's blowing my ears out it's going to be about uh, creeping in and we do a lot of fighting on the way in and I don't know you know, it'd be very difficult to pull off uh, anyway so lots of Mark 48s an adequate number of T-Lambs we've got two more than we need We've got two T 
Tomahawk anti-ship missiles and four. I think that's plenty. Six, six, uh, six missiles and lots of Mark 48s to get us far between here and there. So, eight T lambs at Gremka. Gremka. That's further away than. Uh, that's further away than. Anyway, well, uh, let's go ahead, cast off anchors away. We're off and running. Now there's different ways to get in. Yeah, Gremka's way over there to the east. I'm going to try sneaking in from the north to avoid all these barrier patrols at the mouth of the Barents Sea. Between, no, I should say between the Barents Sea and Norwegian Sea, Greenland Sea. Um, so it just take some time here to run way north. We'll probably have to fight our way in in this area. We'll probably have to fight our way in there. Uh, so I suspect they've got patrols there too. Oh goodness! Allies re-enter the Netherlands. Well, okay. Cross the border back into the Netherlands, retaking ground. Uh, the Soviet Army Daily newspaper announced a replacement of operational leadership due to satisfactory performance. Now, <clears throat> somebody's counting trees in Siberia, or if they're lucky, they you know just took a bullet in the field um all right now we're gonna start our way in here we're gonna take our time the water here is shallow it sucks i probably look at that they chased me uh boy oh boy oh boy this is fun look 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 we're being pursued and we're being caught well <clears throat> fortunately we're going rather slow all right, let's see what we got going. We have a new sonar contact bearing 165, designate Sierra 1. Our depth's 150 feet, our heading 150, our speed 10 knots. Local conditions, rain, gentle breeze, weak surface duct, weak surface, excuse me, weak thermal layer at 243 feet. So we're above the layer. Let's get in there, get quiet, and check things out. Rig ship for ultra quiet. All right, quick. 140 beats, so it's sort of noisy. It's only 667 feet. Lord, it's shallow. <clears throat> and I don't see anything. Looks like the water's deeper. We're heading into deeper water. I'm perfectly happy to creep away from this without a fight. <clears throat> Something I haven't tried a lot of. But let's go ahead and come to course. About one eight zero. Hard to Helm calibrate right it. Two. One eight zero. Helm I. And once we get on course, we may duck below the lair. Uh, we may go real deep. I think that's a sub uh, submarine contact based on what the uh, what the strategic map was telling us. So we want to get down deeper. Well, let's get let's get on course. And then we'll go down to, you know, 550 feet, 600 feet. Oh, yeah, it's spooky. Okay, we should be on course now. Let's, uh... Let's take her down. Make depth six zero zero feet dive by. Now hopefully water will get deeper. And I may just play this as an evasion. Uh I had a discussion with somebody and I wish I could remember. Uh I'm going silly here. Uh but there was a comment made in one video that if uh you know, you kill things, they focus search assets on you, which makes perfect sense. So it might be an interesting way to try to play this to get away. Now, you know, it's not letting us out now because vessels are nearby. And it would help to know where they are to know how to evade. 
So let's, uh, we'll see. We'll probably end up fighting. I mean, because that's what the game's about, right? The game's about putting weapons in the water and watching things blow up. You know, the game's very pretty. It's, you know, it's probably not the greatest 3D models ever. Uh, actually, they're not. This one's just not half bad. I really, that's that's really pretty good. Uh, I think some of the the explosions and stuff like that, you know, it isn't the it it and and you know, look at the, the jagged edges here along that face of that. You know, this isn't a, 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 the most 3D demanding, which is good for what you know. It it means that you don't have to have a. I don't think you have to have a super duper rig to run this and make it work. Um, if you look at the the uh, requirements for this, it just says, oh, you got to have DX9, if I remember. It doesn't even say a graphics card, which I, I think it'd be a good idea to have some kind of 3D graphics. But, uh, <clears throat> I mean, I can see this, you know, this, this jagged edge on here, and I, I don't remember having a lot of options on, on uh, uh, video settings, although I could be wrong about that. Uh, but given that, now that I say all that, and it sounds like I'm being critical. I don't mean that at all. It just means that I think it looks like the game is more accessible, um, which is not a bad thing. And it does look very good. You know, it, it, I really have no problem with it. Well, still nothing, but there's still somebody nearby. And now that I'm down here. Uh, way less than the ship lengths from the bottom. I'm kind of wondering, Ugh, that's really deep. <laughs> that's really close to the bottom. Well, let's, uh, let's play along with this we don't want to engage idea for a minute or two and accelerate time and see what happens. Time dive at six zero zero feet dive by. Now the bottom isn't changing. Of course, we're only making five knots. Uh, if there are, you know, if it is deeper water up ahead, it could take forever. And vessels are still nearby. It is so noisy. 104 dB. <clears throat> yeah, we've got nothing. So that leaves us with. Oh, we didn't even get a clue. We didn't even give a hint. Looking all the way out to the edge of the map, we didn't even get a bearing, I don't think. What is it? Bearing 165. So, this away. Yeah, we could do goofy things like sending torpedoes that way and let them search. We could fire up the active sonar, which would precipitate a whole lot of interesting stuff. Or we could just turn, let's say, of course, 165 wouldn't be accurate anymore. Uh, it's gonna, if, if it's staying stationary, which it almost certainly isn't, it would be further to port. So, what do you say we change heading about Come left 30 degrees? One, five, zero. Helm, I. And we see what happens if we just bear down on that contact a little bit. That kind of takes away the, I'm not going to stick around and fight thing but even if I chose to leave it'd be nice to know which way to go I don't know maybe that makes no sense at all okay let's okay the bottom's actually coming Con up at me a little bit steady course. all right we're just creeping along Very noisy. 104 dB. Yeah, well, we could have launched a torpedo on that bearing and sent it off to find whatever was out there. And this may be crazy. Uh, getting closer. 
I don't know, we're not hearing anything. And come back to 180. Come right to 180. Helm I. Yeah, the bottom's coming up on me. Con make step five five zero eight dive I. Not very quickly, but Con dive at five five got zero a eight dive real I. Real fear of bumping into the bumping into the bottom. Kinda like a airplane pilot being concerned about the cumulo granite. You know, you find that mountain in the cloud ruin your whole day. Nothing. Nothing. Whatever it is is real quiet relatively and we're not picking up anything. <coughs> Yeah, it's uh, this this doesn't make for a lot of excitement, does it? <coughs> Excuse me, I've had a cough for two days. I can't seem to throw it. Hmm. Yeah, still vessels nearby. Really, I mean, I could spend thirty minutes hunting. All right, we have torpedoes ready. I'm tempted to go active just to get this over with. But again, it'd be a whole lot easier if I could just get away from this guy and not draw more attention to myself. It's what we got to do is go way south and go through some really shallow water and launch a bunch of tea lambs, and that's tough. Okay, well, that's, you know, it, it's given me quite the conundrum here. One, this isn't entertaining. It is sort of, I mean, I kind of find it interesting to see, you know, can I creep away? Oh, whoa, no, we did it. Look at that, no vessels nearby. Let's go, let's get out of here. Outstanding. Never tried that before. And we're off and running again, and he's still after us. And he's caught, we're going to have to kill this guy. Okay, we have a new sonar contact bearing 322, designate Sierra 1. We're at 150 feet, heading 290. I don't remember going west, but okay, maybe I was. Our speed, 10 knots, broken light breeze, weak surface duck, very weak thermal layer at 207, so we are above the layer again. And we're still good there, so let's get sonar quiet. Ship for ultra quiet. And where was he? It, don't tell me again. 81 dB. Whoa. Three, two, two. Designated Sierra one. Uh, we found him. I think we found him. 645 feet. Let's figure out what he is. And watch for, uh, watch for him going active. Let's go, come on. Get through all, I wish this thing had tabs so we could say, Soviet submarines. Oh, well now, now we think he's way over there. I don't think it's a Delta or a Yankee or anything like that. I don't think it's any SSGNs. It's gonna be a, a diesel boat or a nuke that is say that. I'm beginning to wonder if it's not a a foxtrot. And that looks pretty strong as a foxtrot. Sonar. Sierra 1 is classified as submerged submarine. Okay. Let's come left to about 230. Come left to 230. Helm 11,000 yards away. This will be an easy kill. A very easy kill. Man, 
and then I start thinking maybe I should have brought a sea lance that'd be a piece of cake <laughs> it'd be quick I want to watch the boat or watch the uh, torpedo swim that far okay he's just below the lair and we got him damn near locked up with us above the lair um, let's sink out just a little bit get down closer to that lair boundary okay 170 feet now we're well within the shadow zone or maybe just barely whoa we are getting 10,000 yards away we're pointing in the right direction for evasion we got this guy locked up but he's going to hear this launch so I'll you know, make the torpedo we're not going to use that tube we're going to use the tube on the port side I think that's how this works so we'll hold the wire a little longer and helm. Steady course. let's put oh we're at 7,000 yards that means there he is that means a little more serious in the way of torpedo evasion wow that's uh awkward let's uh let's come left another come left to two zero five helm a few degrees if he goes active he's got us but so far we're still we got him beat on the uh, he's coming left maybe maybe not so much let's not let's 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 get the rudder amidships oh he's coming deeper he's going down if he goes active he'll he'll pick us up but his passive is hopeless right now I'd love to open range up on this guy a little bit and I think we are right now very slowly no we're still closing that was weird uh, okay this doesn't look like guys that are closing but it just went down a hundred yards okay it's opening range is opening now and we're going to come to about 270 and see if we can slide into his baffles. We're going to find that out. We'll watch this. Watch this number. And uh, when it goes to like minus 50, we are solidly in his baffles. And that's when we will put up there. There. So let's go get a little deeper. Let's get a little deeper in there. Let's, you know what? He's coming all the way around. He's doing a He's doing a baffle check. So we don't have the luxury of waiting a long time, be my guess. So while he is deaf, let's get a weapon in the water. And he's below us, so let's tell it, no, not up, go down when it enables. And then let's watch this happen. Now he's still coming around. He's going to spot this torpedo. Probably before it does anything. I'm going to stick that enable point further out. I want him. He's below the lair. The torpedo's above the lair. I want to keep it above the lair until it's right on top of him. That'll. That will. Hopefully, minimize his uh, window of awareness. When does he hear it? See, we're only at seven and a half thousand yards. He gets a torpedo off. We're going to have to do some. Uh, we're going to have to do some torpedo evasion. 
to that end. I think I'm going to bring the rudder just to five degrees support and start turning away slowly, trying to keep this wire as long as possible. A little closer, a little closer. He hasn't reacted yet, but I'm okay with that. Oh, we're being very, very, very sneaky here. Okay, it's fixing to, uh... Oh, it's not. It's gonna go there, and I'm gonna tell it to be passive. We're really trying to be stealthy. Okay. And there it is. He heard it. Well, then fine. If that's the way it's going to be. Let's set that weapon loose. And... I don't think we need to keep it on the wire. Let's reload that tube. Let's hit the go juice. And watch the fun here. Alright, we no longer have a concern about him, but we do have a concern about what he launched. But you know what? Probably not. Look at this. He shot way behind us. So, we're just going to keep smoking along. Con, torpedo room, two, three, Working ready. on getting out from in front of this guy. And that should be that. I love turning this. This is nice. I figured out this. This gets more cinematic. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, all right, camera control is cool. And, uh, we still have weapons nearby. So let's, uh, oh yeah, you know what? <laughs> I forgot that I had the, uh, uh, for a real watch, you know, to uh, tell me things like, you know, hey, we're circling. All right, still, still can't get out. Probably end up having to wait for it to. Con maneuvering, making turns for no. three, eight knots. I mean, we beat this thing well. We beat this thing before he launched, which is what you want. You want to win the fight before it begins. Okay, no weapons nearby. Wow. So, we still have 25 weapons. We killed a Foxtrot. That's not our mission. And, continue. Now here we are at 28 minutes. So I think it's time to put a cut in it. And uh, I'll see you again next time as we continue to work our way south on our mission objectives. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching. Now there's a picture of a funny looking little boy up there. It's me when I was a kid. If you click on that, it'll help you subscribe if you haven't done that already. Then hit that bell button to enable notifications. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. See you again soon.